Um, yo, how's it going, guys? Uh, yeah, I'm going to be showing you something on my Game Boy today. It may take a bit of a minute, so I hope you bear with me. So anyway, here it is. All right, guys, how's it going? We are cheating today. So this is Pokemon Blue. Um, I've got an Abra in my team. I've actually got a Mew already, but I've got an Abra in my team that knows Teleport. Um, and that is going to be, that is what I'm going to need for this cheat. This route here is above Cerulean City, where Misty's gym is. And if you're, need, if you're needing an Abra, they're in this grass. Um, so that's what we're up to just now. So we're going to do the cheat to catch Mew. As you can see, I've already got one. But there's actually two you can get. There's a heap of trainers you have to encounter. So you need to catch your Abra without fighting this guy that I'm stood beside. And then you want to come up so he's just off screen like that. And then when you press down, you want to press start at exactly the same time. Like what I've done just there. So he's on the screen, but I'm in the start menu and I can move around. But it's also at the same time it's triggered the encounter with this guy. So then what you want to do is go into your Abra and teleport. That'll take you back, <coughs> excuse me, to the last Poke Center that you've used and it'll trigger the encounter if you see what I mean. You'll see the the exclamation mark right there. That's the fight started and we're out of there. So I'm back in the Cerulean City Pokemon Center. So what I want to do to get, uh, depending on who you fight, it will encounter different Pokemon when you walk back up there. So it just so happens that this guy here has the Pokemon we need to get a Mew. I can't remember if I've got my Ivysaur out in front. But we just have to fight this guy. So that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> okay, so this horsey doesn't matter. We can just get rid of it, get it out of the way. That's what we're going to do. Oh, he's it again anyway. Okay, so if we're just to fight this guy and defeat this Sheldo right now, what will happen is we'll encounter a Mew at level 7 up at the bridge there. So if we use Growl, which is going to lower its defense, lower this Shelder's defense, its attack, sorry. If we use that, every time we use that, the Pokemon we encounter is going to be one level lower. So I've used it twice, so it's going to be at level four. But three times. Four times. Five times. Six times. So now the Mew we encounter is going to be level one, and that's quite important if you're wanting. If you're just wanting to you to get a, get a Mew, then just kill this guy, and that's all good. Uh, if you're wanting it at level one for this reason that I'm about to show you, then do what I just did there. Use Growl six times on it. And this will work on any trainer. If you do any trainer and walk back up here, um, it'll just encounter different Pokemon. It just so happens that this guy gives you a Mew. Okay, so here we go. We've fought him. We just walk back up here. Oops, oops, oops. And then you come up onto the Nugget Bridge here. And our menu is going to open by itself, that, like that. And then I'll press back to come out the menu. And there you go, there he is. Wild Mew, and he should be, yep, level one. Right, let's see if I've got any Pokeballs. Thankfully I do. Right, I'm going to have to try and use my... Leech Seed, and hopefully it doesn't kill him. I 
Okay, sweet. I'll just edit this out if it takes a while. It's going to take a while. Okay, come on, come on. Sweet, we got him. I absolutely do not. Right, so, in our menu now, we've got two Mews. There's a guy <coughs> up this path here, if you keep on going. He's got a Slowpoke young trainer or something his name is. He'll give you a Mew as well. That's where I got the other one from. Uh, but the Slowpoke was a nightmare to do six growls on with my Ivasaur. I'd recommend using something else. Um, so there's my level three Mew. And here's my level one Mew. Right, so, the deal with this is, in this game, uh, there is no level 1, so the lowest Pokemon you can catch is level 2. So, where it says there, level up, 63 to 2, to level 2, if we can get this Mew less than 63 experience out of a fight, it'll go immediately to level 100. So, that's what we're going to do. And all I'm going to do is, go into a fight with him first, so we'll just swap him to first. And then I'm just going to put everybody in this, uh, in my party, into the battle. So, we're going to go down here. So, like, if you swap people out, obviously, they get a bit of the experience as well. So we'll just find something in here, hopefully low-leveled. 63 is quite a big amount of experience to get if you're doing this, so... Yeah, 63, right. Right, here we go. What I should have done was save it first, but here we go. Right, and we're just going to swap in everybody until we end up with Ivysaur. I'm sorry this is so long, I just want to show you exactly how to do it. Abra almost died, that wouldn't have been helpful. Hopefully level 3 gets it. Okay, unbelievably, my camera just stopped, but here we go. The critical hit's just been had, and the Rattata is dead. So, hopefully everyone gets, yeah, 12 XP. Mewgrew to level 100. And we did it, lads, we did it. There he is, level 100. Look at those stats. <laughs> Ridiculous. So guys, yeah, that's how to get a level 100 Mew before you've even got your second Pokemon badge. Alright guys, nice one. I've been picking up a few uh, current titles. They've just been trickling through. Uh, issue 1 of Trinity. We'll see where this is going. We'll just see what happens with this. Issue 18 of Sunshine and Roses, Stray Bullets. This is one of the best covers he's ever done. I love this. It just, yeah, amazing. Okay, then this is what I want to talk about. Um... This is what I wanted to talk about because I've just got these through the door. Batman number seven, Nightwing number five, and then I think issue nine four one of Detective will be next week, and that'll be part three. I think it's going to be six parts or three five parts. Batman and the Monster Men, but it's over three titles. Um, so because I'm collect, I'm not collecting Nightwing. I'm not picking that up, but I'm collecting Batman. And I'm collecting Detective Comics. And then I'm going to have two episodes of Nightwing. So where does all this stuff go? Like, does it... You know what I mean? It's just... Like, I don't want a couple of shitty Nightwing books in amongst my Batmans. And I don't want two of my Detective Comics from the Detective 
pile in with my Batmans. So it's just... Maybe I'm overthinking this, but... It's just annoying. It's annoying. That's all it is. But still, I've just read this. I'm just waiting to start this. Uh, Yannick Paquette's doing the covers. So, if you read Grant Morrison's um, Incorporated. Oh, maybe his Wonder Woman too? His Wonder Woman. Paquette's done a lot of work with Grant Morrison anyway. So, yeah, that's them. Uh, what would you guys do about that mixed titles all coming together? I don't, I don't know what I'm doing with it. Uh, so it wouldn't be another week without more Sonic comics, and this is issue number one. I, I hit the big time this time. So I got issue one. Uh, issue two. I don't know if you remember when I first started talking about these books. This is the one that I got. Was it like comic book stories or something? Comic book, what got you into comic books or something? This was the book. Anyway, and there should be a badge here, but it's not there, unfortunately. And then issue three. So I think I'm just missing issue nine or something like that <clears throat> out of the first ten. I'm only missing like three or four books out of the first 50, which is awesome. I'm not going to show you. Well, maybe I will. Yeah, because there's a Shinobi, Shinobi cover. And then a uh, Golden Axe cover. This story's funny. Um, Yeah, so Mark Miller was writing. I remember saying about... Mark Miller writing the Streets of Rage comic. He actually writes the Sonic issue, the Sonic portions in issue two and three, which is quite cool. Issue number six. That's a great cover. And yeah, this is the one. So this is the origin of Sonic, who he is, and how he came to be. So that's sweet. It's actually in that other Sonic book that I've got. Uh, which is now gone. It's here. It's actually in this kind of collected edition, if you see what I mean. But yeah, look at that. Sonic before he was blue. So that's cool. So that's issue eight, if anyone's interested in the origin story. And then this is the start of a decap attack. So yeah, that's some of my books this week, uh, and that's kind of all I've got for you guys. Um, I hope I hope you were all right with that Game Boy thing. Uh, I was just at the right moment when I was started playing it, so I thought I'd, I'd film that for this week. Um, yeah. So anyway, guys, thanks very much, and uh, I guess we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.